We take these guys and we put them through an entry level Hazwopper course. We're taking them down here and they're doing what's called a dry dress. The first time getting in the water with the hats and the gear. This is a uh, vulcanized rubber dry suit, protects against a lot of contaminants, dangerous chemicals. And the biggest difference is that we're completely mated to the hat with this suit. I open the main air here, it just air flows in. Exhaust goes out here, and that's, that's all it is. It's a air in, air out system. A lot less moving parts going on, so that's why we like to use it for hazmat situations. Right, go. Okay, I'll do uh, one last check. Lift up on the hat. Make sure it's not going up past his face, past his eyeballs, okay, so we can still see, right? All right, let's get this guy in the water and see what we got. We're running through uh, an inversion drill, taking them into an out of control situation. Your head's pointing down, your feet are up. It's like being in a washing machine almost. It gets kind of a panicky situation. What we want them to do is secure that main air and then crunch towards their legs. And what that does is bring the air out their hat exhaust and it, it gives them a fighting chance to right themselves Very and get nice. back to work. All right, give him his three. So the diver comes up at the ladder and we do what's called a definitive decon. We're hit, hitting them with a high pressure hose. We walk them into the exclusion zone. This is where we do our first form of decon using a uh, five to 10% bleach solution. Then we rinse head to toe. Okay, I want all of this to be taken care of as well. Then we move them forward into the uh, contamination reduction zone. This is where the actual gear of the diver gets to come off and uh, is left behind. And then we move on to the third stage to where the diver can actually become zipped out of the suit and move on to where he can shower himself off and go home.